today's topic is interracial dating and where we're at now in the 21st century. We've come a long way. I mean, growing up, I didn't see a lot of us, you know, back in the 20th century, like it was so long ago. <laughs> and um, it's not something I can speak for myself. It's not something that I, you know, was just like, okay, I'm going to look for someone who is white to fall in love with and get married. It just kind of happened. But I still feel like sometimes it's a, although it's accepted now, I stu still feel like there's still a little bit of taboo along with that. What do you think? I think it depends where you are. I mean, I mean, we live in New York where it's, I guess it's, it's accepted more so mm -hmm. than in a lot of places, but you know, we probably can't go to North Dakota and <laughs> be cool over there or, or you know, mm -hmm. parts of the South. Like it's, you know, I remember being in Florida yeah. Years, this is years yeah. ago, but before we got married, before we got married, and there was a, a, a church from like Alabama. <laughs> I know. And they were looking at us like we were aliens. <laughs> like it was like unreal, you know. Because even here, like we get people stare at us like occasionally. You know, nobody has ever said anything to us, but you know we get stares occasionally. But it's usually like, you know, just like they, uh, you know, what they might say, yeah, to them to themselves. But yeah. this was like. It was like, it's like weird. Like they were looking at us like we were really from another yeah. country. Like they've never seen yeah. anything like it. Like so, I mean, it depends. I guess where you are, but we're in New York, and you know, it's I guess more accepted. But I, I still don't think that it's fully accepted. You know? Yeah, I still get a little bit of the shock value. Um, oh, those are your kids? Oh, right. Yeah. Um, or is your husband? Um, or she's see, they're like. Is your husband, um, their dad, is he Spanish? He's not black though, right? He likes skinned <laughs> I got that. He likes skinned No, No, uh, yeah, he's pretty fair. And then they'll find, <laughs> let me see a picture. <laughs> It'll be like that. But um, yeah, so it, it's, there's still that shock value um, for some people or the stairs or the, it could be a stare of admiration, or a stare of, ooh, or a stare of, you know what I mean? It, yeah. it changes. You don't know. You know, you really don't know. But what do you think? Sometimes, is like, we might get annoyed at somebody staring at us, and it could just be looking yeah. like, out of all, you know, like, I remember one time we at a restaurant, and there was a, it was an older couple, yeah. like, next to us. And, and, and I noticed that they, the lady kept staring at us, and I'm like, why is she staring? And then it turned out she was just... Admiring. admiring us and she wound up being really nice and yeah you know so sometimes yeah I, I, I felt bad because I, I get annoyed <laughs> he gets you know, really annoyed, annoyed and like upset kind of stuff but she was a really nice lady and she you know I guess she, you know she just thought we were interesting yeah. and, and, and yeah. had a beautiful family and so forth so you it's hard to say you don't want to yeah. cause you know issues when there's no issues so you know but it's hard to read sometimes yeah, but how about dating? Because when we were dating, I mean, I dated outside of my race before, and so have you, but it was yeah. still kind of like, uh, what's your mom like? <laughs> what's your family like? Because not everybody's family is open to that. That's true. And, um, you know, it, it's happened, but for the most part, the majority have been okay. I also grew up and went to school with uh, at a school which was majority black, like probably 75, 80%. So it wasn't like I was coming from a world where mm -hmm. I was only around white people and my family was only exposed to white people. My mother worked in the school district that yeah. I went and so forth. So it's not, it's, it's, a, it's a little different than somebody who maybe grew up in a few towns over that the school is 100% white. Yeah. You know, it's not as much of a, a shock to the family, yeah. I would guess, you know. But, I don't know, but that's that's yeah. my experience. I you know, I was around black people from the time I was in kindergarten. So I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't around. Like I was around mostly black people growing up, and you know, being from Jamaica, we always would see the tourists come in. So I always like, oh, the tourists, you know, they're coming in. But when I came here from Jamaica, I went to all white school for about about a year, and then we switched over predominantly like Latin and um, Latinos and black. And that's kind of how it was growing up, predominantly black. So when I met you, it was just like, oh. <laughs> and I, I've dated outside my race before. I've dated pretty much everybody, black, white, Hispanic. 
um, but this is just how it happened but from time to time we do get you know these uh, questions how was it does your family like you uh, was there any problems that's I get that a lot yeah, do you I don't ever get that. no one ever asks you anything no. never no they don't ask me really no. I did on my part they like I've I've had people ask like really but I, not I, to I be I think you're more um, yeah. approachable I guess yeah they don't talk they don't mess with you yeah. because yeah I get that but I I have um, met people who they they feel you know they're interested in dating outside of their race but they're afraid of these responses and these comments and the possibilities and you can't help who you end up with. You can't help who you fall in love with. You shouldn't fight it. Yeah, I mean, and that shouldn't be something that you should be prevent you exactly. from going for somebody that you that you like just because of what other people might think. Because really, they have nothing to do with you, and you shouldn't worry about what anybody yeah. else is doing except for yourself. You should worry about your own happiness and, and what makes you happy, not what somebody might say or somebody might think. Who cares? Yeah, and I know it's not all a bed of roses out there. Um, we're very conscious of what's going on we are very careful with uh where we raise our kids where we have our family i do know that there are areas i'm you know in the tv industry and if uh opportunity out of state came up which it has uh i'm going to be very selective if it's a place that i know that i can't raise my family then it's it's a no-go because i will not put my kids and my family in that kind of situation. Uh, there are places out there where it's like, okay, let's pass on that one <laughs> without going into too much detail. It's happened. Mm -hmm. And that was the reason for me turning down the job, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's, uh, I think, top of my list is, uh, top of our list in terms of where we raise our family. We want it to be a place where there's a little bit of that diversity and there's that racial tolerance. Um, if that's the case, I know it's hard because everywhere there's like, racism and things like that but we just do the best we can and at the end of the day you have to be happy not everybody else that's right all right hope you enjoyed our chat be sure to leave your comments in the description box below but now that's a bye bye